the time that we said we would reconvene the uh, previous hearing at 1.30, we're going to go over, but we're going to persevere. We have four more speakers left on this bill, and then we'll reconvene. Good afternoon. Um, I did not come here prepared to speak, so I <coughs> don't have any notes to give you or anything like that. Okay, my name is Marlise Bryant. I um, have lived in New Hampshire for 35 years. I have been in public education for 20, for the last 20 years, including the last six years as a building administrator on both the high school and the elementary school level. Um, I support this bill. I support it for a couple of reasons. As the other, the previous speaker who was also a high school teacher for 25 years, I see this as a good compromise, okay? I see it as something that will, it's clear from the testimony that you've heard already that there is mass confusion in this state on the administrator's level as to what to do if somebody comes to the school with a gun. Okay, now you have given us, the districts have given us tools. You, we have hardened our buildings, we run drills, we, um, we have implemented see something, say something, okay? But right now, we're in a building administrator, I'm retired by the way, but you know, building administrators, if it comes through the building that somebody saw something, somebody saw somebody out in the parking lot with a gun and they look like they're walking towards the building, what do we do? I mean, my gut feeling, I want to call a lockdown. I want to call the local police. I don't know if that person has legal uh, uh, authority to, you know, I don't know if they're carrying legally or they're not. I don't, want, I, I don't want to call the FBI. I don't want to call the ATF. I want to call my local police who I meet with for safety meetings, who I go through lockdown drills with. Okay, I want to call them and have them come up and talk to that person. <coughs> the other aspect of this bill that is a good compromise is the idea that districts can, um, they can have people in the buildings that are trained, that are, um, that, I mean, it's a, it's a conversation that districts can have, and I think that they should be able to have conversations. I know that I have gone, as an administrator, I participated in safety meetings, and the police would say, you know, we, you know we're going to want everybody out of the way. <laughs> Um, we're going to want anybody who is a good adult with a tag on them so that we know that because we can't tell who everybody is that works in this building. And so I do implore you to pass this bill. I think, as, as the previous speaker said, it is a good compromise. For those of us who work in these <coughs> buildings, okay, because I, I do wonder how many people here, both on your committee and in the public who do not support this bill, how much experience they actually have being in a building, in a, in a public school. <coughs> so that's it. Thank you for the testimony. Um. Crook TV.